We are on a crazy win streak with dinosaurs. Let's see how far we can go. Coming up next, more Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, welcome to another video. Today we are playing extra deck banishing dinosaurs as per request by the fans. All right, you request it, I play it. Now, how are we banishing our points extra deck? How are we making our own custom ban list where we get rid of all the cards we hate? Well, we're gonna use Draconic Diagram and we're gonna use some very special cards. Special to me because they pop the baby dinosaurs. That's right, two True King, Lithogram, Lithosagym, I always, I've always been told I've said it wrong. It's Lithosa Gym, but I always say Lithogram because that is better, all right? Don't, don't message me in the comments talking about that. We pop the baby dinosaur, you know what that means. We got a baby dinosaur search. Search for the soul leading over raptor, search for another baby dinosaur. We're gonna fossil dig, search for a dinosaur. And now we're gonna pop two babies. We're gonna take a look at our opponent's extra deck and we're gonna ban three cards. Let's see what we ban. We banned. Amazing. Swords of Supreme Sovereign, Elemental Hero Brave Neos, and Elemental Hero Aqua Neos. Opponent was playing some sort of level 7 combo. Alright, they were going to use Elemental Hero Brave Neos and Aqua Soldier to summon level 7s. We put a stop to it. We're going to special summon two monsters with our baby dinosaur, as is tradition. Now we got uh, two more baby dinosaurs, which we are going to pop. Opponent, what? Excuse me. Alright, opponent stopping our combo. With Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion, that is not a card I see very often, but opponent disrupting us. All right, are we done for? Is our our win run done now that we've been stopped? But we got more plays. Let's make a Waifu Mascarena. Oh, let's activate our pill. Taking the Dino Pill. Summoning the LT from the deck. Pass the opponent. Dinosaurs, very fun. Going first or second, but we're going to go first if we're going to flip Flip them face down. You know why? Because we pop the baby and opponent can't activate banished cards from the top of our deck and they don't have a level 7 and they don't have a cash tier on the field. Uh, opponent gonna negate the baby. Opponent. So rude. How can you do this to us? After everything we've done for you. Making your deck better by taking away cards that you shouldn't have. Now you negate our baby. And activating triple tactics. Alright, well luckily they chose draw two cards but... I, I don't know how Ash works. You let me know. Could we have Ash this even if they chose take control? Just because this card can potentially draw two cards? Because Ash Blossom says, uh, yeah, you know what? Ash Blossom says a lot of stuff. Let's not worry about it. Opponent, you're draw negated. Nobody knows how Yu-Gi-Oh's rules work. Only Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel. As the game is happening, it decides it's random. Opponent summoning a Div Incarnate. They are going to attack over our monsters, and then they're going to steal a monster from our graveyard. Alright, we could link something right now, but we don't have any good link targets, so we're just going to let our monster die. Opponent going to steal, probably our best monster, probably our ulti. Uh, okay. They stole Masquerina. Uh, is that because, oh, 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 I know why. This card cannot be normal summoned or set and has to first be special summoned from the hand by banishing two dinosaurs from the graveyard. We didn't summon it using its effect, we summoned it with a double evil pill. So because of Yu-Gi-Oh's rules... They couldn't target the ulti conductor. He has not been summoned by his own effect first. Um, I'm pretty sure that's right. If that's wrong, uh, let me know in the comments. All right. Now you might be asking, is this a water deck? Because I'm supposed to only play water decks. So we're just going to take a quick look at the extra deck here. Um, do we have any water monsters? Oh, look, look, we have two Swords of Supreme Sovereign and Adamates Pater Risen Dragite. That's right. This is a water deck. Archosaur, get popping. Search for the double Evo pill. We are going to get. OT Conductor Part 2. He is going to flip our opponent's monster space down. Or he's going to get attacking because he can just attack each monster our opponent controls. And we can save our flip face down for our opponent's turn. Opponent. It's a dinosaur. A little Link Haribo versus one card. What can you do? Opponent. Tributing. Very rude. Giving us a sticky string, Kumungus. Kaiju. Alright, nobody plays this one except our opponent, but look, it's an earth monster. I wonder if that'll come in handy. Let's draw. Misk. Alright, bring it popping. Pop the Misk. Get the True King Lithos of the gym. Alright, and now we have Misk in the graveyard. Let's activate the Misk. Misk banish four. Get the OV Raptor. OV Raptor search for the Giant Rex. Activate the Lithos gym. Pop the Kaiju. Ban our opponent's extra deck. That's right. Cash Tira Band. 
Chaos Angel Band, Baron Band. It's the banlist you always wanted. The banlist of your dreams. Destroy the meta. And now we're going to attack for lethal damage with a Lathosa Gym. It's beautiful. But this isn't enough. we got to keep winning. Let's go on to the next game. If you like this sort of video, make sure to subscribe. We'll have more quality content in the future. But for now, more dinosaurs. Now, I am running the cast year of birth, but if you uh, stick around to the end of the video, you'll see my full deck list. And you'll see what cards got cut, because cast year of birth, maybe not pulling its weight. All right, we're playing dinosaur combo, and the cash tiras are just here. They're here to extend our strategy. They're here as supplemental tools. Don't always need the cash tier of birth. Cash tiras, unicorn, and cash tier of fenry are good on their own. We're going to misc. Cash tier, unicorn, also usable for banishing our opponent's extra deck monsters. That is what the inspiration for this deck was. But we got to draw the cash tier unicorn for the Lithosa gem or the field spell. Otherwise, we're just going to have to do regular old dinosaur combo. Summoning a ulti from the deck and passing to our opponent. And that is why the burst got cut. Look at it. It's doing nothing. Nothing. No value. If it was a baby, we could have popped stuff. Opponent set in three back row. This is not what I like to see. All right? I'm frightened. I'm scared. But we're going to go to attack mode. Because the best thing to do when you're afraid is to use a dinosaur to attack your opponent's life points. Opponent seems to have nothing. Not sure what all these set cards are. If opponent has nothing, Lightning Storm popping the dinosaurs. These dinosaurs do not like to get popped. Not like the babies. Speaking of, it's baby in time. Archosaur, pop the baby. Search for the double evil pill. Activate the baby. Summon the Obi Raptor. Obi Raptor, activate. Search for the misc. Activate the misc. Opponent. Negating our misc. All right, that is not ideal. I would have liked to not have Misk negated, but that's okay. We're going to keep trying. We're not going to give up just because our opponent has three-step back row. I am thinking this might be like some sort of trap deck, and these Ash Blossoms might come in handy. Let's pop get the baby. Activate our pill. Get the ulti. Go to battle an opponent. Reveal your activatable trap. Dimension Wall. They make us take the damage that they would have taken. All right, so this is some sort of scammy trap deck that, you know, mirror walls and all that nonsense. We're going to hit him for 18. Opponent. Got 17 life points left. What can you do? Opponent activating Lord of the Heavenly Prison. The only Heavenly Prison is the one that they're in. Baby. Get popped. Summon the Obi Raptor. Activate the baby. Get two more babies onto the field. Well, get a misc to our hand, and then a baby to our field, and now we're going to summon the La Lagia, because Lagia can negate. Now, we don't know what their two face-down cards are, but now we can negate one of them. Uh, except Solemn Judgment, we cannot negate that. Opponent negating our summon. Our negate was negated. But that's all right. Oh, actually, they get the Lord of the Heavenly Prism. That's all right. We're going to activate the Misk. Misk, protect our dinosaurs. Dinosaurs now. Immune, this main phase. Cannot be affected by activated effects. Opponent getting a face down pot of extravagance. We're going to flip that bad boy face down now. Our dinosaur attack is lethal. But we're not done yet. Summon another baby. Pop two babies. Ban our opponent's extra deck. What are we going to ban? We're banning Dark Law. We're banning Starving Venom. We're banning Mood Dragon of the Swamp. That's right, that means super poly that opponent could have. Now, it is messed up. They don't have any super poly targets. Pop the baby, so we get some baby summons. Get on the field. Baby number one, revealing. Jurak Alio, an opponent. Okay, let's go on to the next game. All right, we are dinoing it up. The dinosaurs are dinoing, and we are the ones doing the dinoing. Let's... Obi Raptor, opponent Maxine. All right, well, you know what? Banning our opponent's extra deck is very fun, but what's not fun is making our opponent draw a billion cards with Maxi. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know what? We're just gonna let this go. We're gonna, we're gonna pass. All right, we're gonna pass after searching for another Obi Raptor. We're gonna pass. No cards for you, opponent. We, uh, we don't play into the Maxi. Opponent, gonna tribute, give us a Kaiju, and end the turn. All right, I think, you know, I'm not. I'm not really going to judge, but I think that this was an upgrade. Our monster is now bigger. Opponent, you've made a mistake. 
Just because you can do something doesn't mean you shouldn't. It doesn't mean you should. Opponent forgot the first rule of dinosaurs. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. All right. Now we take a look at our opponent's extra deck. They are playing very cool Cyber Dragons. Cyber Dragons has a very cool new card, Clockwork Knight, that turns all your opponent's monsters into machines. And then you just summon any Cyber Dragon and then summon away all their monsters into a giant Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. It is very cool and fun. Maybe I'll play it in the future. You let me know if you want to see that. Pop two babies. So we get the Aelio. We get the Giant Rex. Synchro Shokan into the Baron. Activate. Pop. Get another baby. Link Shokan into the Pentastag. Banish two to summon the ulti. Triggering the Giant Rex to resummon itself. And Xe summon into the Negate the Evil Sorbagia. Maxi, literally the most useful hand, useless hand trap in the game, clearly does nothing, and our opponent is defeated. Let's go on to the next game. You might be asking, is there a deck you can play that's a water deck in the uh, the bug event? Well, there is. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that deck because there's only one, and it's going to cost me a lot of gems to build. But the sac it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. All right, opponent playing witchcrafters. Now, I've already told you the story about Witchcrafters, how there was this guy who said Witchcrafters were the best, and this was in Duel Links, alright, but we're not in Duel Links anymore. We're in Master Duel. Let's summon Castier of Fenrir. Now if opponent activates a monster effect, Castier Unicorn will banish a monster from their extra deck face down, but opponent looks like they're going to do it first. Paleo. I am a fan of the Paleos. Opponent discarding a spell to banish our Castier. Now let's search for a dinosaur. And we got the Lithogram. We gotta do it sneaky like though. Hope we raptor get the baby. Activate the Dra draconic diagram. Pop the baby. Search for the lithogram. And I really wish, you know, all right. I, I I feel maybe this card doesn't need to be banned anymore. You let me know. Does this card need to be a one? Because we just want to use it to pop babies and get our lithogram, lithogym, lithosagym. All right. That's fair. I don't know who was using this card in a in an unfair way, but I, you know, unhit the diagram. All right. There's no masterpiece, Konami. Let's pop the baby. Get back the baby. You gotta make sure you get back a different baby, alright? Uh, pay attention to which baby is which. That's why we have one foil baby, alright? Make sure one of your babies is foil. Otherwise, you don't know which is which. Let's pop more babies. Pop them. Get the Lithosa gem. Look at our opponent's extra deck. Ban three cards. We're gonna ban Excess Code Talker, Credit Plan Verte Anaconda, and IP Mascarina. I think all these cards should be banned, alright? They're all banned now. Let's get the Aelio from the deck. Summon the Baron. Summon the ulti. Flip our opponent's monster face down after summoning our giant rex. Opponent not even bothering to respond. Summon another dinosaur. Summon the Dolka. Dolka is monster negate. Now we got two monster negates. Pop the monster with the Baron and it is lethal damage. Opponent is out of here. Witchcrafter is defeated yet again. Let's go on to the next game. All right. We got a hand here with the, the classic, the Maxi. We're just going to rip that in the standby phase. Opponent activating Ash Blossom to negate our Maxi so we don't draw a billion cards except... Hold on a second. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Whose turn is it? Uh, it's my turn. Maybe, maybe, hold on. Was that a mistake? Did I accidentally activate Maxi thinking it was opponent's turn? Or was this a big brain play? Getting my opponent to give up their Ash Blossom for no value. You you let me know. Alright, you let me know in the comments. Let's summon Obi Raptor. Activate, get the baby. Activate the misc. Activate the misc. Banish to get the archosaur. Archosaur pop the baby. Search for the pill. Special summon with the baby. Get another baby. Pop the baby, get the baby. It is the ultimate play. Get the giant rex. Link Shokan into Mascarena. Activate the pill, and that's right. We use Maxi in the graveyard to bait Ash Blossom because we were going to banish it with a double evil pill. It was not a misplay. It was a big brain play. I was planning that far ahead. I was planning 30 moves ahead. Trigger our giant Rex to resummon itself. Make a Lagia. Spell trap negate. We got the ulti. We got the Lagia. We got the IP Masquerade opponent. What can you do? Opponent summoning Atara. Right. What are we going to do? We're going to flip this face down because you can't flip Link Monsters face down, and we know opponent's gonna try and make a Link Monster, and now that they control a monster, they can't activate the effects of the Tenyes to special summon themselves. That is the trick, all right? But my girl Mo Yi could still come out, 
opponent called by the grave negating the baby. All right, do we negate the negate? We have Lagia, we can negate this, but then we can't negate the micro Moe, so we're gonna leave it. We're gonna let it happen. It is happening, all right? Micro Moe, too powerful. We let it go, the baby is negated. Maybe that was a misplay, but opponent triple tactics trying to steal our monster. We cannot allow this. Negate. But now the Micro Moe can come down. And my girl Mohi is going to do her whole Sword Soul Wombo combo. But opponent doesn't have it. The my girl Mohi is not here. Nowhere to be seen. And opponent is done. Let's go on to the next game. All right. On to the next game. We got a great hand. We got a list of gems. Um, opponent is Tisa passing. All right. We're in, we're in 2010. Let's activate. Pop uh, the baby. Pop the other Lissosa gem. Ban our opponent's Guardian Chimera, Garubra, and the Lubellion. Opponent can activate Ash Blossom to negate the baby. You know what? That's fine. Opponent, you do that. Baby negated. Let's summon OV Raptor. Get searching for the Misk. Activate Misk. Oh, opponent has a Super Poly, but opponent. We, uh, we banned some of your Super Poly targets. The Garubra is gone. So what can you actually make here? Two monsters with the same type and attribute, but different names. All right, these boys have uh, Dark and uh, Earth. Uh, I don't actually know what opponent's face down is. And opponent doesn't seem to be able to summon anything they want. So uh, let's take a look at their extra deck, see what they were going to try and summon. And then let's go on to the next game. Uh, opponent's extra deck. They had Garura, Plant, Verte, Anaconda. Definitely not summonable. Uh, maybe their set monster was Fallen on Alabaz. If they had a Fallen on Alabaz, they could have tried to go into Lubellion or some other nonsense. But you let me know. You let me know what they could have made, because I have no idea. I think the only way they could have activated that is if the set card was a Fallen of Alabaz. And then they could have made, you know, uh, this guy. Um, uh, but then they wouldn't have been able to do anything with him. Who knows? Who knows what opponent could have done? Let's go on to the next game. Alright, dinosaurs continue to be unbeatable. We got the cash tira. Let's see if cash tira can get some cash value. Cash money, cash tiras. Archosaur pop the baby, get the pill. Activate the baby. Get the OV Raptor. Search for the misc. And one thing I'm not playing in this deck, which I probably should be, is the dinosaur kaiju. You let me know if I should be playing dinosaur kaiju. Because I think it's supposed to be really good against specific decks like the, uh, the pearlies. Pop the baby, get the baby. Special summon from the deck. The misc and opponent doesn't want to see it. They are done. Dinosaur combo, too powerful. Let's go on to the next game. All right, I'm growing tired. The day is ending, but I'm not going to give up. I got to keep playing dinosaurs because my win streak, it just keeps going. Fossil dig, going to get the baby. We're going to summon the archosaur, pop the baby. Baby gets popped. We search for double evil pill. We special summon from the deck. The OV Raptor. Search for the Misk. Summon the Link Karibo. Activate the Misk. Activate Misk in the graveyard. Banishing two to summon the baby. Now we got baby and baby. Let's pop the baby, get the baby. Activate the baby's effect. Get the giant Rex. Link Shogun into Pentastag. Opponent, Bistro Magnumut. The Pizza Hut is banishing our Link Karibo. All right, is this the end of the world? No, because we're gonna Summon the ulti conductor, triggering our giant rex, flip him face down, pop in the baby to get the misc, link Shokan into evil Sardolka, that is the monster negate, we got two monster negates now, opponent gets uh, whitestone ancients, I did not know pizza hut could search that, can pizza hut search any dinosaur, hold on, hold on, any dragon, I thought pizza hut only searched bistules, pizza hut says, uh, if this is summoned at the end of the phase, add a dragon monster. Damn. All right. Pizza Hut having extra effects. Raigeki. Oh my goodness. The one time I don't summon this spell negate. All right. Our board is done. Are we done for? Point of Red Resonator. Summoning the egg. Getting a Light Charmer. Light Charmer going to steal our dinosaur. Oh my goodness. This is it. This is the end. I can see my life flashing before my eyes. But hold on a second. Our opponent. That does the math add up. It doesn't. 
we live we live with 150 life points that means we're not out of this opponent's egg is activating summoning a blue eyes all right all right we still got stuff we got we, we got we got plays we got plays on plays fossil dig activate search for the ob raptor summon the ob raptor get a mist to hand mist gonna make our dinosaurs unaffectable activate the mist in the graveyard banishing to get a baby saurus triggering a giant rex to resummon itself opponent activating to flip face down triggering their own blue eyes jet dragon to flip our monsters face down but opponent you forgot one thing our monsters are unaffected because they're dinosaurs and we activate a misc opponent did not read the misc our monsters do not flip face down let's pop the baby get the baby activate the baby get another baby activate the pill banish two summon the ulti let's get flipping flipping face down activate the baby summon another ob raptor Summon the lag in. Now we got our spell trap negate, and let's get to battle. Attack every monster our opponent controls. Deal an additional 3,000 damage. And opponent. This is lethal damage with the dinosaur. We are at 150 life points, and opponent is done. All right. You know what? The streak hasn't ended. Let's do one more game. All right. We got the max C. We got the cockroach. Let's activate in the standby phase. Opponent, what have you got? Opponent is not afraid. They are wombo comboing and they are playing plants. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we got to watch them combo for a bajillion years because we could draw into hand traps. We can't toggle off. Opponent, summoning a Therion, getting the Therion Coliseum to get a negate. All right. Opponent summoning plants. Uh, summoning more plants. Still not turning their negate online yet. Right, is opponent going to make his deck out with the maxi? I don't believe so. I don't believe they have 28 summons in them. But now they have the negate with the Therion. Let's see what other negates they can come. Because if they can't negate us, we're going to make so many dinosaurs on this field that opponent is going to have nothing. Nothing they can do. Opponent. Activating the Mudan. And where is our Ash Blossom? We have no Ash Blossoms yet. Ash Blossom is our hand trap that we can draw to activate. Opponent is still Wombo Comboing. They are not afraid. They are going to summon for bajillion years. More sun balloons. This is exactly what you're not supposed to do into a maxi. This is like textbook. Do not do this. Maxi going to make your opponent draw bajillion cards. Making sure we have infinity plays, especially with the way Konami makes Yu-Gi-Oh cards now. None of them are once per turn. You're going to just activate every card in your hand. Opponent making Rick Queen Strena. We still have not drawn the Ash Blossom. Where is Ash? Ash Blossom, where are you? We need you. Opponent still wombo combo way. <laughs> Opponent is not done yet. Getting the Rick of Glamour. Activating. They're still not done. <laughs> They're still going. Making the teardrop queen. Uh oh, hold on. We did Ash Blossom. I just missed it. It was so fast. Alright. Hold on. Alright, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What has happened? Opponent made negate. Tribute, negate, tribute two, tribute and steal. All right, very powerful. Also, we can only activate one spell card this turn with the Naturia Rose Whip. And opponent also did something very rude, which was steal a lot of our clock because they combo for so long. And our clock, even though we're hitting cancel, 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 it stole our clock. So we're running out of time. So we have to deal with our opponent's entire board and not run the clock. All right, so let's summon the cast your Fenrir. Summoning the Fenrir because we have uh, we have more of them. We have another Fenrir in hand. If opponent activates a monster effect, the Fenrir are going to force a banish. Summon the Lithos Lithosa Gem. We get to banish three monsters from our opponent's extra deck. They only have one monster left. Their entire extra deck is now gone. All right, their extra deck is banned. We pop two babies. Our babies are going to activate. Opponent letting it go. Summon the Giant Rex. Summon the Aeolio. We're gonna summon Baron. Now we gotta negate to trade with one, or near, one of their negates. Except opponent activating the Ricochet, which tributes as cost, tributing our monster as cost, meaning they have to steal the Baron. Baron negate and opponent stealing our Fenrir. All right, very cool opponent. Activating the Teardrop Rick of Queen to gain attack points. The summon our Obi Raptor. Get the Ulti Conductor. 
make the Dolka, that is, negates. We got monster negates now. Opponent activating teardrop the Rick of Queen to negate. Tribute our giant Rex equipped Dolka. And we could negate there. Uh, or we didn't want to negate because of the Fenrir. I don't remember. Maybe I ran out of timer and I was scared. Let's summon the Fenrir. Let's summon the ulti. Oh, hold on. I know why. Because I had toggled off at the end of opponent's turn because they were stealing our clock so much we had to toggle off and I forgot to toggle back on. Alright, that was why we couldn't negate. Resummon summon the Giant Rex. Banish two. Summon the ulti. That's right, our timer is still turned off so we can't respond to opponent's Sacred Tree Beast, which is what I wanted to do with my Misk, because Misk is what I want to resolve here. Opponent, negating the first ulti. Uh, I realize my timer's, my toggle's still off, so I turn the toggle back on. Cast your fit is triggered. Opponent negating. We're gonna activate our ulti in response. Opponent gonna negate the ulti, but we gotta negate for their negate, because we got the Misk, opponent. We got called by the grave for your princess. We're gonna banish the other princess they had in their graveyard to negate it. That means princess negated. So all our monster effects are gonna resolve. Very beautiful, very nice. Dinosaurs unaffected. Flip them face down. And this is easy lethal damage, except our timer is so low. I don't have time to do any more summons. I just have to get in my attacks. Summon with the baby. Get in my attacks and hope for the best attack with the dinosaur popping every monster they have no extra deck so they can't do any more plays they are literally done for we can flip their monsters face down we're gonna go straight to the end turn after attacking them with all our monsters they have 700 life points left because of the life points they gained we're gonna go to the end phase we still have timer left except we're gonna make one more play we're gonna lag, lag you we're gonna lag you that's a big greedy but we're gonna set two and we're gonna we're gonna end the turn and i this is the most annoying thing ever, right? You saw I discarded two cards. I had to discard the hand size, and discarding the hand size uses the timer, and it's three clicks. You gotta click the card in your hand. You gotta click OK. You gotta discard, and then you gotta do it again. And I had so many cards in hand because of the max C that I ran out of time discarding. Does this count as a loss? You know what? I'm gonna say no. I think that can counts as my opponent cheating. And uh, we're gonna consider this undefeated, all right? Hope you liked the video. Let's go on to the deck list. This is a win. This is a win right here. All right, here you go. Here is the full dinosaur deck list. If you want to banish your opponent's extra deck, make them not able to play. Let's go through it one by one. Helio, two Archosaurus, triple Babysaurus, triple Maxi, two Petit Pteranodons, triple Ash, one Giant Rex, triple Misk, triple Soul Eating Oviraptor, two Fenrirs, triple Cash Tour Unicorn, triple Lithos Lithos Gym, two Ultis. Two pills, triple fossil dig, one diagram, two call by the grave, one cross out designate. In the extra, we got Borla, we got Adam Emancipator, we got Baron, we got Supreme Sovereign, we got Psychic and Punisher, we got Lagia, we got Dolka, we got Divine Arsenal Zeus, we got Link Rebo, Secure Gardener, Pantastag, Mascarena, Nightmare Unicorn, Black Luster Soldier, and we got the Underworld Mommy. I hope you liked today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.